John Ross. What's this, Mom? Oh. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, that was fantastic. Want me to take yours? Thanks. Oh, have I missed you. I missed you, too. How come you knew I was here? Clayton told me. He said you go riding all the time. We can go together. <laughs> well, maybe not this time, but I would like to spend the day with you. Maybe go to a movie or whatever you like. Dad, be me. John Ross, do you get lonely with Daddy at work and me not here? Not very much. I play with Charlie sometimes. That's about my horse. But I miss you a lot. Well, I think very soon we may be spending all our time together. You coming back home? Would you like us to live together again? You bet. I've missed you. I want all the information you can get on it. Mr. Ewing, Dimitri Marinos is impossible. He only comes off that island once or twice a year. He never has his picture taken. He never gives interviews. He's worse than Howard Hughes was. I don't have time to listen to you tell me why you can't do what I want done. Now, just do it, whatever it takes. And while you're at it, get me a complete history on Angelica Nero. She is his chief executive officer. I suppose you wanted yesterday. Yes, of course I do. Now, that's all. Yes? Mr. Smithfield is here. He says he has to see you. Send him right in. Uh, Pete, keep in touch. Will do. Trouble, JR. What are you all riled up about? I mean, maybe real trouble for you. This letter was hand delivered to me about an hour ago from Philip Reese. He's a lawyer. Sue Ellen is retained. Yeah. Divorce? No. Legal separation. And permanent custody of John Ross. my son. Our son is at South Fork. Did you think I kidnapped him? What you're thinking of doing is just that. He's my son and he belongs with me. Never. I lost my daddy, I lost my brother. He's all I got left. And he's all I have left after 10 years of hell with you. Then give me a divorce. Marry that cowboy. Do any damn thing you want. But don't you even dream of taking my boy from me. Because if you should somehow succeed, there's not enough room on this earth to keep you safe from me, honey. 